you're hearing my voice right now or seeing my image, it's probably because you're either watching this on a streaming service or listening to it as a podcast. Both of those things only possible because of gigantic internet corporations that have developed the websites and the technology to make it so. But how did we actually get to this point where if you have relatively reliable video and audio on the internet? Joining us now is someone who has quite a bit to say about that. So Matthew Carnahan, welcome to the show, showrunner for Valley of the Boom. Premiering this Sunday, I want to get the time right, it's 9 p.m. Central, correct, on National Geographic? I think that's correct, yeah. So your show is about the early days of the rise of gigantic internet corporations, correct? Yeah, it's about, I, I, it's, it's more about the, the, the moment when these amazing makers showed up and, and uh, brought us the browser, you know, mm -hmm. Mark Andreessen, who invented the Mosaic browser, and then the commercial version of that, which was uh, Netscape Navigator, mm -hmm. which has basically changed the way every one of us live our lives every minute of every day. Yeah, uh, some since. like me more than others. Yeah, but, exactly, but yeah. exactly. <laughs> and our paychecks. Yeah. Um, yeah. So um, it's it's really about this this moment. When these amazing people, you know, uh, Andreessen and and uh, and uh, Netscape, um, uh, this this company called the Globe.com, which was a, uh, a social networking company, mm -hmm. sort of Facebook, ten years before Facebook, um, and uh, the advent of streaming, mm -hmm. um, which was a little dubious. The the, the guy who was uh, involved in streaming named Michael Fain, um, which was actually turned out not to be his name. Bit of a con man, <laughs> it turns uh, Absolute out. con man, yeah. but you know, some of our greatest, uh, you know, pioneers of, uh, you know, the, the P.T. Barnums of the world, you know. Yeah. Um, so and what's, what I find interesting is that there are parallels there to some of the big names and big corporations that we talk about in terms of the internet. Every day now, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So we have a, a trailer for the show. Why yes, don't we give people yeah. a look at that, and then we'll Great. come back for more. A and then the ring around it. At what, what do you is say internet that, Allison? anyway? There's Allison, can you explain what internet is? One word: Netscape. Netscape. They have zero concept of what Netscape is. Pixelon is number one in internet broadcasting. Theglobe.com. It's a social network. People will want to log on. I guarantee. Why don't we have a price? Refresh your page. Seventy-one dollars a share. It's the biggest IPO since Microsoft. Congratulations. <laughs> it also makes us a target. This is the beginning of what they called the browser wars. I'm going to bring in a couple of experts. Netscape changed the game. You were at Microsoft's mercy. They were deathbed competitors. We are running a billion dollar company. You've also got Microsoft bringing back their neck. Prepare to boldly go where no man has gone before. Valley of the Boom, Sunday, January 13th at 9 on National Geographic. So it looks like there's going to be a little bit of drama. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a dramatic moment, you mm -hmm. know. That the the internet boom and subsequent bust were uh, were some dramatic moments in Silicon yeah. Valley for sure. You um, know, it's interesting that like that we know some big names. Like you, most people probably know who Zuckerberg is and, mm -hmm. and a few others. But these earlier big names that that laid the foundation for some of the the tools we use now. Like most people probably don't even remember Netscape. I mean, I remember it vaguely. Me too, vaguely. Um, from early on, I remember using the internet before there were really search engines. Mm -hmm. Like they were in their earliest infancy. Um, but a lot of this this history, it's like disappeared. People just don't know about it. Yeah, I, I think more than any other world that I've you know tiptoed into, um, Silicon Valley does not look back. They don't even look at the present so much. <laughs> I mean, the present is kind of this thing that's happening while they're busy looking into the future. Yeah. You know? So, you know, I, what I found is that people who are engineers and coders and founders and CEOs, they don't know about Netscape, really. Mm -hmm. They don't know the Netscape story. They certainly don't know about the globe. You know, which you know, which presaged Facebook and MySpace and all of that. Um, yeah. And you know, it's amazing. It's amazing because there's a lot to learn from you know the fact that none of those companies are 
exist around. today. Yeah, and some you know? didn't last long. Yeah, um, yeah. So uh, th they're gonna learn that, and they're gonna learn that in a pretty unique way. So yeah. uh, the trailer makes it appear like it's you know a show, a drama, a scripted drama. Right. Um, but it's not just a scripted drama. It's more of a no. hybrid. So it's can you describe definitely that? Definitely a strange. Um, you know, when I when I went to National Geographic and and kind of pitched it to them, I said um, I I don't I want to make this as try to make this as disruptive as the makers who were making these companies were at the time. You know, they were blowing up. You know, uh, they were blowing up Silicon Valley, mm -hmm. and you know, let's blow up the National Geographic brand, and let's just totally ruin it. Yeah. And to my surprise, <laughs> they were they were really excited about that. Yeah. Well, so, I, I hope you didn't use the term "ruin it" when you said it. To them. I did. I oh, did. Really? And okay. they and they just kind of <laughs> laughed, and I, maybe they assumed I was kidding. Mm -hmm. But you know, I I really tried to just. You know, at every turn, rather than explaining something. You know, like the browser war, it's a very dry notion. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, the fact is, you know, Bill Gates was a total OG. You know, mm -hmm. he came in <laughs> and he just, you know, laid waste to Netscape and went after them in the most gangster way. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you know, so we were like, okay, well, we need a rap battle, you know, to, to, to show. <laughs> obviously. Yeah, obviously, duh. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so, so uh, that, that was, it's just been really fun to just kind of at every turn, you know what's a what's a what's a what's the a historic um, IPO like? It's like you need a flash mob. You know, mm -hmm. you need a giant musical number. You know, because puppets these, maybe. <laughs> we did. Uh, we do have a Bill Gates puppet who's now sitting in my <laughs> living room, looking really <laughs> horribly defiled. Um, uh, but. <laughs> But, I, I have no follow up on I, the I mean, filing. He's not. I just said he looked. Looked. Yeah. Filed, he's not <laughs> I was going to ask if he appears in the show. I guess he does. in some context. He does. He absolutely does, and he's amazing. Yeah. Um, so I, I am. I'm interested uh, to know. Like we, this history is mostly opaque, and and even at the time, I think like most people didn't even understand the internet at the time. They they probably didn't know too much about the. the well, you look there. at you look at that clip. You know, of, explain of, the internet. You know. Well, I remember, really smart people. Exactly. Who Having didn't know. no idea what at and you know about and exactly. Yeah. When I was in sixth grade, I remember uh, teachers coming to me and saying, "Hey, you use the internet, right? We have guests coming. Can you show them websites?" <laughs> and as I said, there wasn't really search engines, so yeah. I, I think I showed them sci-fi.com for the uh -huh. TV channel because uh -huh. that was like you went to direct websites, not like you know right. links and everything. Um, but anyway, yeah. So now there's. There's Zuckerberg, and there are these big brands, and I wonder if because we know more about the individuals, especially Zuckerberg, and we're a little bit more savvy about our privacy. I wonder if some of the mystique and the reverence of these big figures that help to shape our lives. I wonder if some of that is wearing off, and if that might be oh, a permanent thing. It's at least wearing off. I mean, mm -hmm. I think I think you know if you kind of describe. The trajectory of the internet age, as you know, this this period that we're describing in in my show is kind of Internet 1.0. Mm -hmm. um, we are, I would say, now in the twilight of Internet 2.0, mm -hmm. um, because I think Internet 2.0 has been about, hey, here's my personal information. Uh, here, yeah. it's so amazing that that I can share my photos, and here's my political affiliation, and here's my. Here's everything you need to screw me over, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think that now that I think that that even the most casual, devoted, you know, Facebook user is kind of scratching their head now and going, "Oh, I, I feel a little, I feel, I feel maybe a bit ouchy exposed. in my, you know, in my private places." Yeah, and you know, like. <laughs> um, they feel, you know, they feel betrayed, mm -hmm. and and you know, and I don't think it's any accident that we're now kind of sliding into a crypto technology mm -hmm. age, and that that is going to that we're really shifting into a, an age where we're once again looking at our privacy as a as a valuable asset. Yeah, yeah. So.
Interesting. Well, yeah. I mean, we certainly it seemed to be at a turning point. It'll be interesting to see what direction yeah, it turn in. Yeah. Yeah. Thank well, you. I wish we had more time to talk, uh, but yeah. the show is coming in just a few days. Yes, I mean, it January is. January yes, thirteenth. Yeah. This Sunday on National Geographic, mm -hmm. at nine p.m. Uh, Matthew, thank you for joining us. Oh, it was a pleasure. Thank Great you. to have you on. Thanks. Thank you very much for watching this clip from the Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.